Hi and welcome back to another video of Medic Notes. This video is on Lis Frank injury. Lis Frank injuries are severe injuries to the tarsometatarsal joint. Between the medial cuneiform and the base of the second metatarsal, Lis Frank injuries are unfortunately often missed due to their subtle radiological features. But prompt diagnosis is crucial as neglected injury can lead to ongoing midfoot pain, instability, and deformity. For clinical features, Lisfranc injuries most commonly occur following severe torsional or translational forces applied through a plantar flexed foot. Following the injury, patients will report severe pain in the midfoot and difficulty in weight bearing. On examination, there will be swelling and tenderness over the midfoot. Plantar bruising is highly suggestive of a Lisfranc injury. Pain may be provoked by stressing the midfoot. For investigations, Plain film radiograph is the first line imaging, which should include AP, oblique, and lateral foot views. The expected findings in Lis Frank injury are widening of the interval between the base of the first and second metatarsal, bony fragment visible in the space between the first and second metatarsal, disruption of a line drawn from the medial base of the second metatarsal to the medial side of the middle cuneiform. Malalignment of the medial border of the lateral cuneiform and the medial edge of the third metatarsal, or medial border of the cuboid and the medial edge of the fourth metatarsal, dorsal displacement of the proximal bases of the first or second metatarsals. Other imaging tests include CT scan and MRI scan. For classification, the Hardcastle and Meyerson classification can be used to classify Lis Frank injuries. Type A is complete homolateral dislocation. Type B1 is partial injury, medial column dislocation. Type B2 is partial injury, lateral column dislocation. Type C1 is partial divergent dislocation. Type C2 is complete divergent dislocation. For management, ensure the hemodynamic stability of patient. For significantly displaced injuries, closed reduction can be done. Certain Lisfranc injuries without significant displacement can be primarily managed conservatively with cast immobilization or air cast boot and non-weight bearing mobilization for 6 to 12 weeks. For surgical intervention, temporary external fixation can be used if there is significant soft tissue swelling. Definitive fixation most commonly involves screw fixation between the medial cuneiform and second metatarsal between the medial cuneiform and the first metatarsal, and between the middle cuneiform and second metatarsal, primary arthrodesis can be used for severely comminuted or displaced fracture dislocations. That's all for this video. Thank you.